Well, hello and welcome back, everybody. My name is Tom. I do Disney, hence the name of this channel. Tom does Disney, and welcome to weekly vlog number three here from the Magic Kingdom. It has been a very interesting week in uh, the world of Disney World. Certain things are reopening, certain things are coming back, and certain things are apparently going to be gone forever. So uh, this week I've definitely been pensive. I've been thinking a lot about change, what change means, how important change is to life, how Walt felt about change. Had a lot on my mind and I'm gonna try to discuss it as we go here throughout the day. But let's jump into it. B-roll style, hit the music. What a nice little surprise. As I was coming over here to eat my spring rolls, I noticed that the gazebo entrance is open. No chain here, which if you don't know, leads up to where Jack and Sally and Mary Poppins and Bert used to meet. I have no idea why this is open and why nobody's back here, but this is where I'm gonna post up and eat these spring rolls. I'm getting down low, like it's base, like I'm feeling a baseball coach. I'm down on my knees, but let me tell you something. I did not get the pepper, I got the pepperoni. I did not get the, uh, uh, why can't I talk right now? I did not get the cheeseburger. Um, one, because I just made cheeseburger spring rolls in my house the other night. And this last year really was kind of leading sometimes as my favorite one to get. So one huge issue right off the bat is the marinara sauce is super watery and gross. Not into that. I've also been trying to mess with the camera, like trying to get like the best settings I can out of it. I feel like sometimes like, this is one of the best cameras on the planet for vlogging. And sometimes I feel like my footage doesn't look like as crazy as like some professional people do. I'm trying to hone that in a little bit. I think one thing that was happening, I was always shooting like way too exposed, so. You'll notice today everything's like a lot darker. I think that's actually gonna look a lot better once I edit it all up. Where's the line for the Haunted Mansion end, you might ask yourself? Oh, you know, here, outside of the uh, diamond horseshoe. <laughs> so to say that crowds have come back to Disney World is an understatement. Crowds have really come back to Disney World, which is a huge part of why I was so confused this week when I heard 
how many people Disney was laying off. Now I know a lot of that has to happen in California because the parks just not even open. But some things like Yeehaw Bob, some things like the Grand Floridian Orchestra, some things like 400 Imagineers, 400 Imagineers. So that is a lot of cuts. I mean, insane cuts that make me think that things are not coming back to normal really anytime soon and that we should appreciate whatever's here while it's here because anything can go. If, a, if, if the Grand Floridian Orchestra that's been playing there for 32 years can just get the boot, nothing's really sacred anymore. And in case you thought the Haunted Mansion line was a fluke, this right here, that is the line for Big Thunder Mountain. Yep, all the way across the bridge. It's back there. Thunder Mountain's way back there, but this is where the line for it starts. So the crew, we've met up with everybody living in Diz. Aaron's What's back up, there. Okay. Tanya's up here. Um, it's starting to rain again. I'm very happy that this camera's weather sealed. I like that it's kind of GoPro-ish in that way, that I don't have to freak out and put my camera away the minute it starts like dripping a little bit. As the Magic Kingdom files out here tonight, I have realized that I haven't really done much as far as talking about exactly what I wanted to talk about here today, which I noted these tremendous layoffs and how it has affected so many people's lives and how blessed I am to be able to come here kind of independently, you know, through the courtesy of Disney. Obviously, this is a private company and Disney lets people like myself and Tanya and Aaron and Corey do our content creation here. But it just made me realize like how special it is that, you know, this place is my backyard. It's where I come to work. It's something that I need to start realizing. This is a dream job for people to work here. You know, it's a dream job to be able to be here at Disney every day. And for 28,000 people this week, for some, some people who, I mean, like I said, Yeehaw Bob and stuff, those people were staples of this company. 
their whole life has changed, you know, all the magic they've been creating for however long they've been creating it is done, at least for now. So my biggest hope is that, although I believe in change and I think change is a good thing, my hope is that Disney brings back a lot of this. They realize that they've made a huge mistake in terms of letting go of some of these people and they bring them back once things are back to normal. So, just realized I didn't film an outro to the vlog, which is very, very unlike me. The night got away from me. We hung out. I was with Tanya and the crew. Um, Tanya's stream ended early, which led to everybody just kind of talking about stuff that was just more real life and not camera talk. So, I totally spaced it out, which I can't even believe. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it. I'll see you for next week's vlog, and I promise I won't be doing this again. Shout out to Rachel for this fantastic hoodie, by the way.